going to give a quick demonstration of how everything works together. So we have all the peripherals now. We have the stabilizer uh, motors right here. We have the clamp motor right here. Uh, the gyroscope hooked up. And then here is the stepper for the pulley system, which will attach somewhere to the back of the uh, the crane itself. And then here are the two drive motors. I paired them together right now so you guys can see it together. Um, we put an e-stop, we put a key switch to control our microcontroller. We want to be able to turn everything off in case of emergency, but also have a switch for us to just turn this on. Um, and then from here, basically everything is running. So here's our main power supply. We were able to reduce it down to one. And I'm going to give a quick demonstration of how to run the motors. So turn the switch on and turn that switch on. Obviously, we won't have as many in the future. Uh, so now our power supply is on. Just for safety, I left this down, so I'll bring this up. You can see it's still off, so it requires a key start. And you can see a double beep, and that tells you the system's ready to go. So now you can see that the uh, system's on. We can go ahead and start playing with this. So uh, initially, you're in the state of uh, drive mode, so you can't control the actuator no matter what you do. Um, so we're going to look at these two motors right here. You can see that if I hit the left motor, the left motor is turning. And if I hit the right motor, the right one is turning. And you can see if I hit both, both are turning. I'm going to go backwards. And this is reverse, so we have a safety bugger in there. Uh, if you switch over to the other system, which is going to be your load transport, you hit both sticks and then this light comes on. Uh, you can control the speed of the stepper uh, using using the right jump uh, joystick. Pushing it down will increase the speed or decrease the speed, I'm sorry. And as you get to the fourth one, that'll be the lowest speed you can get. This will be the fastest speed. So uh, you can see over here, this is our fastest speed. Obviously, we're going to have to do a little bit of rigging to get that faster. Here's the slowest speed. You can almost not tell it's moving, but this will give us the most torque. Um, Along with this system, you can see that we have a couple other things. First is the linear actuator. We're going to be able to go up and down on it. So here's down. And this is self-limited. So you can see it'll stop by itself. And this is the upward direction. And the way John and Brandon have set this up is to maximize our angle without having something break. So, now what we want to do is, um, I'm going to put it back in the horizontal position, just for the sake of a minute. Um, and now, the last thing remaining on here is the gyroscope. So, as you can see, this is our load. This would mimic our load. These two will be placed uh, next to each other, or, I'm sorry, across from each other on the crate clamp. This will be placed in the center, allowing us to uh, stabilize. So you can see, if I do this direction, one motor is moving, while the other one stays static. And if I do this direction, I get that. Go ahead, do it again. Let's say, so this is one direction, this is the other direction, and you can see if I actually get a swing, that's what ends up happening. And the final thing is the clamp to actually grab the crate. You can see now we have this little motor. So what we have is something like this spring right here. And what we want to do is uh, be able to bend that. So this would be attached to that pulley right there. Uh, John is working on that right now. So here's basically how that runs. And that's your bi-directional spring attract, or retract motion. Uh, now for safety, obviously, we'll be able to run things. Let's just say I'm running the actuator. So if something happened, I could stop on it, that would kill everything. Uh, I could resume by turning that back on and then this will start up the whole process again, double beep. And that should be it.